The Blue Planet Prize began in 1992. It was established by the Asahi Glass Foundation to provide support to researchers. Every year, they award two individuals or organizations that have contributed to solving environmental problems with a trophy and 50 million yen. There have been over 50 recipients so far, and the foundation is shining the spotlight on their work to combat threats to the environment. Now, let's take a look at the work of one of this year's winners. Professor Jared Diamond applies his exceptional intellectual spirit of inquiry to garner deep insights into fields ranging from the natural sciences to human history. His theory clarifying the significance of environmental issues based on his extensive viewpoint regarding civilization and society has influenced many people, regardless of age or nationality, to consider the next steps for civilization. A sustainable world is a, is a world in which we are harvesting resources at the same rate that those resources renew themselves. What we have, the world has to do is to get more and more of our energy, not from fossil fuels, but from, from so-called renewable sources. 2019 Blue Planet Prize winner, Professor Jared Diamond. Diamond was born in Boston in the United States in 1937. His father was a doctor and his mother a linguist and concert pianist. In his childhood he was particularly interested in birds and started bird watching around the age of seven. He studied biology at Harvard College and physiology at the University of Cambridge. His interest took him to New Guinea. Two reasons, adventure and, adventure and birds. New Guinea is famous for the most beautiful birds in the world, the birds of paradise. A second reason was that New Guinea was a dangerous, wild place. It was a sense of adventure also that led me to go to New Guinea. By meeting local people in a foreign country far away from home, the biggest question of human history arose in his mind. Why technology and civilization and metal tools developed in some parts of the world, but, but, not, but not in other parts of the world. After conducting a massive amount of independent research, he came up with the answer. The reasons that, that um, Japan and the United States are advanced societies and that New Guinea is not an advanced society isn't because of the Japanese and European people have better brains than New Guineans, it's because of geography. Diamond was awarded a Pulitzer Prize in 1998 for his book Guns, Germs and Steel, The Fates of Human Societies, which presented a unique perspective on human history. In his 2005 book Collapse, he suggested the great effect that environmental issues have had on the history of human civilization. He has extensively expounded the relationship between the environment and human beings. His contribution to inspiring people to consider how civilization should be in the future has been highly evaluated. We humans are de dependent upon the environment. If we mess up the environment, we mess up getting these things. Along with the Blue Planet Prize, the Asahi Glass Foundation also announces changes to the environmental doomsday clock. Representing the danger to the survival of the human race due to environmental deterioration, the clock was moved to 946. The point of no return is 12 o'clock, meaning there is very little time remaining. We want to share a sense of crisis with people around the world. We also want everyone to deepen their general awareness of environmental issues. We hope 
the clock can be a trigger to start, start thinking about glo uh, global env environmental issues that we have today. Can we really turn back the hands of the environmental doomsday clock? If all goes well, the reason my sons will still be alive in the year 2080. But the quality of their lives will depend upon our blue planet's environments.